Deep beneath the frost-backed mountains sits Orzammar, largest and proudest of the two remaining dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, Precious. You've got a sweet look. Something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. I don't want to do this in front of my sister. Why not? She knows the slope of the land, don't you, girl? You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold cap teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the diamond. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. I'll treat her however I like, as long as you both eat off my plate. You keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. That's what everyone likes, a castless with a big mouth. But I didn't come for the joy of your company. I've been looking at my investments, and this one hasn't borne much gold. I'm giving you another week, Precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. I've always tried, though. At least I've kept you from buying your future with what's between your legs. I should have told you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. You know the other options. Cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. No. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. It's sheer folly. One more way the nobles protect their status. They say castless soldiers are more danger to each other than to Darkspawn. That it's an insult to the smith to let us touch a fine-made weapon. Truly, they just don't wish to insult the warrior caste by showing that given the same opportunities, we could lead an army just as well.
I have little love for the nobles, but they know, more than we ever will, what the Darkspawn have taken from our kind. Every noble I've met has had a brother or a nephew killed in the Deep Roads. Yet they let their arrogance blind them to the fact that we could help defend the city against the Darkspawn. Aye. They would even turn to humans for aid before us, it seems. There's been talk of an alliance against the Darkspawn. Even that the Grey Wardens have stepped up. But we don't have time for this now. Lesky must be waiting, and Barat won't like it if I'm late for my appointment. You know how desperate the nobles are for more children? They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the Darkspawn. If I could... give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate. And we'd all be raised up to noble caste to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. Yes. That is, I hope. He certainly seems charming. He treats me like a real lady, not just someone to tumble and forget. I, I don't want to say, in case I'm wrong. It just seems too mad to think of one of the most important men in Orzammar with someone like me. Anyway, time is resting and I need to get dressed. These fashions will be the death of me. A hundred buttons on each sleeve. And Lesky's probably already outside waiting for you. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. Who's that? Why are you bothering me? Rika? Don't you talk to me like I'm an idiot! You think I don't know my own kid? What are you doing here anyway? Rika said you were finally making something useful of yourself. She's got the body. Might as well use it before a couple of kids twist it out of shape. Shape will bother me all the time. I've got important things to do here. Very, very important things. About sodding time. I was starting to think I'd have to bust in and get an eyeful of that spicy sister of yours. Growl. You're just jealous because you want the majesty of Lesky for yourself, you shameless hussy. What do you say? As much as I'd love to keep chatting, we'd better get down to business. Boss says we're out for a search and discipline. One of his smugglers is holding out on him. Name's Oskaius, some surfacer. Barat got word that he's been selling shipments topside that never make it to Barat's ears down here. He wants us to find the rotter and see what goods he's holding back. You know, gold, lyrium. Spices. Anything that Barat might cut someone's head off to get. All he told me is find him. Duster's got some family from the merchant cast. He's probably staying near their quarters. Well, if he is skimming, we kill him, of course. I mean, Barat doesn't let anyone swindle him and live. 
Bringing his head on a plate is completely optional, though. We're not just killing him. First we take back anything he stole, and then we kill him. Come on, you can feel bad later. Whatever lets you sleep at night, my friend. You looking for a place to sleep? There's a vent behind Gavast's. We don't mind if you do. Hey, gorgeous. You looking for something to keep you warm tonight? Hey, gorgeous. You looking so for you something to, find to keep you warm or what? tonight? Tell your mother I said hello. Two bits for the needy. I seen you before. You're one of Barat's girls, the one with the sword. You don't know from needy. Not until you're my age. I used to work in the mines, checking the new tunnels for bad air. Set me down with a candle, and there must have been a pocket of gas, because it went up like dragon's breath. Healer saved my life, but I can't half walk. What's a man supposed to do? You got some spare feet? If not, a silver would fill that void real nice. Ooh, you drive a hard bargain, soldier. You looking for someone to shine your shoes, clean your pots, keep you warm at night? Is that what you're looking for? That's worth ten bits, no? You think I got nothing for you, but you'll see. This'll be you someday. Soon you start to wrinkle up and Barat's got no use for you. Don't think you got anywhere to go but here. Please. I just need a bed. Somewhere to sleep. Fire. Who needs the Paragon Branca when you've got all this? Look at me, I'm the Popper Paragon. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I was beautiful once. I was beautiful. What are you doing here, Brand? Good day there, sweetness. You looking to make a quick bit? You could be just what I'm after. That depends what you're thinking, but you got some good fortune that it doesn't look like you're making full use of. You look like you've still got all your teeth, nice and healthy. I craft replacements for nobles who have lost theirs. I can pay you real handsome for some of those. One silver for two, what do you say? Barat wouldn't like you throwing that around. This guy's an artisan that's practically a smith. We don't need that high a profile. That sounded like a threat. You know the sentence for harassing a resident engaged in legitimate trade is public flogging and a hundred silver fine. No work's legitimate if they let you do it, sweetness. The assembly declared back in Darbier's reign that it insults the ancestors for caste lists to perform any work the recognized lineages can do. Now do you want it or not? One and a half silvers, and that's my best offer. Suit yourself. Plenty of brands are willing. Have you heard? King's got a team who found traces of Bronca in the deep roads. Oh? 
found her body, did they? No, tools. Signs of camp, things like that. Paragon or not, Ronka's dead. She's been gone two years. No one survives the deeps that long. Lesky, you old scamp. What are you doing here? Trying to charm me out of another set of ribbons for your girl? Trying to talk you into being my girl, Olinda. You know my heart's breaking for you. Don't you go saying that around my husband. Who's your friend? You're welcome to look around. I'll slide on the markup since you're Lesky's friend, but I can't give anything away for free. Just don't touch anything if you can't meet the price. Keep your gaze on the floor, Catalyst. I don't need your bad luck rubbing off on me. We won't get very far if you keep stopping to chat. What's up? Well, you know my suggestion. Go where the ale is. Man's a surfacer, so all he usually gets is that swill they make from grain or whatever. When he comes to Orzammar, he'll head straight for the real thing. Lycan malt. Straight up. Eight bits of tumbler. Mm-hmm. Hey, what Lesky don't know about the card is not worth knowing. Unless you're maybe higher up and you know things I don't. The way I hear it, he just stepped up. Plenty of smuggling went on before. But Barat put it all under his protection and spread around enough coin and muscle to back it up. He practically has a private army on his estate. He's bought enough guardsmen that no one ever looks. Smuggling, mostly. A lot of stuff grows up top that folks down here got no other access to. And the skyers up there will give them by the wagon in return for gold or some shiny magic lyrium. If I knew that, you think I'd still be running the streets with you? But seriously, be careful. You try to get Barat's attention by being too good, he'll think you're a threat and dump you in the deep roads. Stay too quiet, and he may decide you're worthless and do the same. Half the castless in Orzammar seems like. I haven't met most of them. Barat doesn't like the grunts to get too cozy. Jarvi is his main lieutenant this month. She practically runs the estate. And I hear he's been drilling her mine, if you know what I mean. Now you're showing some sense. Come on. 